So this is what I pack when I'm gone. Um, this right here is a Headley and Bennett knife bag because I don't like to roll my stuff up and then it just gets all messed up. It could ruin my knives. My friend Ellen, <clears throat> she started this company, Headley and Bennett, and she gave me this nice this knife bag. This one was hers actually. And um, I don't know if they sell it anymore. I'll put a link if they do sell it or you can comment and ask me. But this is what I've got going on. I'm currently in Houston, Texas because I'm doing a little uh, dinner with a chef here at Garden Grace. Um, if you're watching this, by the way, it's happening tomorrow. So if you're in Houston, stop by Garden Grace tomorrow on the 2nd. Anyways, this is me traveling pretty light. For the most part, I, I just bought this knife. I'll show you this later. But for the most part, I'll bring a small utility knife. So this one was made by my buddy Dave at Firehorse Forge. Uh, this one is a custom knife. It was made with springs from the suspension of an old car. Now I believe what happened was there was this dude that came in and he had this car that he was working on with his dad and his dad passed and I think he was scrapping it for parts and he wanted to turn something of that car into a knife. And um, this is like some of that leftover metal that Dave had and I had to have this knife. It's just so cool looking. It's got like all these different looking designs that you don't normally see on a knife. Now, next up, I have it wrapped in a towel just so it doesn't cut anything, is another one made by Dave at Firehorse Forge. Um, this one was custom made for me. I wanted something that was between a cleaver and a chef knife, like some sort of big boy knife that I could kind of use for everything. And that's my secondary pack. So I've got <clears throat> my small one for more precise things, like maybe cutting fruits or citruses. And this one is for bigger things. Like I'll probably use this for breaking down the steaks today or whatever really, like even onions, even smashing garlic. Like this thing is fucking solid. I love this knife. It goes everywhere with me. Um, I do get really scared sometimes them going under the plane because, you know, if these things get lost. I mean, this is one of a kind, you know? That's why I always have like a air tag on it and all that stuff. And I even have like a lock on my bag. Um, now, I also bring a honing rod. This one is from F. Dick and it it's more of like a hard, almost like a hard diamond. I don't know what this is. What is this? No, I, it doesn't even say, but I just know like all the chefs that I knew were using this guy and I gave it a try one day and I fucking love it. Like you don't even really need to give your knives a sharpen that much because I, I guess it does sort of file it down. So you gotta keep that in mind when you're using a hard steel like this, it does remove some metal. I would recommend ceramic if you have expensive knives and stuff and you don't want to wear out that metal as quickly. But this one, when traveling on the go, it's good. Um, another thing is I, I have some uh, long tweezers because if I do have something that I want to plate with preciseness, then this would be it. Or even just like taking stuff out, like say pickled onions from a pickling jar or whatever. I'm going to use this for pretty much everything. It's, these are like all purpose tweezers, kind of like a mix between, between tongs and, and tweezers. I don't use tweezers too often, I will say. And then in here, I've got this little uh, bag section. Um, typically, I'd put like a mandolin in there or whatever. What do I got today? I've got a spoon for sauces. Put some tape on here so I know it's mine. I've got some tongs, just in case, you know, I like to have short tongs, no matter what. Again, put some tape on there. Never know if there's gonna be oysters, so bring an oyster shucker. This one is a little curved tip oyster shucker from Dexter. Actually, Jessica Alba used this oyster shucker, so I'm never washing it, by the way. Um, <laughs> and then this is just a Sharpie, because you have to label your stuff. And that is um, most of my pack. Now this guy I just picked up back home in South Texas. Um, it's not like a spectacular, like crazy looking knife, but I just love how it has so much character. It's awesome. I even it has their family name on it. Viariar, Viariar, Viariar. Fuck, why is, why is my Spanish so bad when I leave home? Viariar, Viariar. You get the point. 
my Spanish sucks right now. Um, that's the knife I picked up and it came with this really rad sheath made of leather. I freaking love it. It's beautiful. Next up in my pack is of course a Headley and Bennett apron. Headley and Bennett aprons are all I use pretty much. This is a crossbody. I like crossbodies because regular aprons, they just, they fuck with my neck. And I even was talking to my buddy Akshay about this. He works at uh, that Michelin restaurant, Janoon. And he was telling me that I turned him on to crossbodies because it just really hurts your neck wearing a normal apron. If you're watching this, Ellen, just please only make crossbodies. This is a high request from a lot of chefs that I know. They're just like, only make crossbodies because the ones on your neck, they just start to wear you down. It just, it sucks. Anyways, that's enough of my rant about aprons. So if you've been wondering why I haven't been posting for the past like three days, or if you don't give a fuck, whatever. Uh, but if you've been wondering, um, it's because I've been in Texas. And I'll be back to regular posting schedule next week. But uh, just as always, it's going to be five days a week. I have to go to the restaurant now. So see you there.